Hello ladies, good evening if you are in Paris, good afternoon if you are in Western Canada, and hello to the rest of you wherever you are watching this video from. If you've been following me this week, you know that I'm spending the week in uh, fabulous Paris, and it is about 9.30 p.m. Uh, Monday night, and before I go to bed I wanted to shoot this video um, to serve as a daily dose of inspiration for you. You know, while I am here in Paris this week, networking and masterminding with my own coach and colleagues, lots of messages of growth and expansion and personal development are coming up for me. And what I wanted to share with you tonight is basically the theme that you do not have to wait to be perfect to do what it is that you want in your career and in your business. You know, oftentimes we we think that we need more education, that the economy needs to improve, that we need to save more money, or maybe we need to wait for the kids to be older before we start doing what we really truly want to do. And those excuses can almost be like precious bags of treasure that we cling to um, that keep us from what we really want to be doing. The other thing is that we often judge ourselves so incredibly harshly you know, and more than anything else, those excuses and our own harsh shelf judgments can keep us from what it is we're really meant to do in our lives. And, you know, we all have excuses, ladies. It doesn't matter what level of success you get to or how old you get or where you are in your life, your relationships or your career or your business. Um, there are always reasons not to really go for it. You know, what as I was preparing even to come on this trip, you know, I had every reason not to come. I'll be perfectly candid and <laughs> maybe it's two glasses of wine at a French bistro that I recently just uh, consumed, but I will be brutally honest with you ladies that however fabulous it may look from your side of the camera some days when you're watching my videos, I want to assure you that my life is not perfect um, and I don't want you to compare yourself to me or to anyone else that you see on Facebook live or the internet or you know carefully quaffed YouTube videos don't kid yourself ladies we all have challenges excuses fears and self-doubts that we have to overcome in order to keep moving forward growing and expanding so in the spirit of being completely candid and authentic, I'm going to share with you some of the challenges that I had just in coming on this trip so that you do not use me as an excuse to not keep going um, towards your own dreams and desires. So here's what I had to overcome to be here, put myself in the game this week um, and be in Paris. You know, for those of you who have children, you know that tomorrow in Canada is just after the Labor Day weekend and most kids are going back to school for the first time. If you've been following me for any length of time, you know that I have two children that are school aged. And yeah, it was tough leaving them at home. Um, obviously not an un un unattended. <laughs> they have a loving, capable father. Um, but in order for me to come on this trip, I had to be okay with, you know, saying goodbye to them before that precious day, first day back at school. I had to be okay with knowing that I didn't have all of the money saved up for this trip in the bank. Some of this trip, I'll be perfectly candid, is being funded by the bank of MasterCard. Uh, and I'll be paying that off when I get home. You know, there's lots of other reasons. There's a lot of people when I talk to them about coming to Paris, they're like, oh my goodness, Heather, like, are you worried about, you know, the recent terrorist attacks and, and you know, security issues? And to be honest, yeah, that was part of my consideration and thinking, you know, should I go, shouldn't I go? My point is, is that there are lots of excuses. There are family, spouses, kids, logistics, money, personal safety issues that all come into play when you think about you know, up-leveling, doing something new, really going for it in your life. And I am no different than you are. So don't use me or anyone else you see on the internet as an excuse and thinking, oh, it's easy for them or, you know, they're so much better off or they have more resources and fewer challenges than I do because it's simply not true, ladies. Um, and I want you to know that 
you can either be held hostage by those excuses like I could have. I had lots of reasons to stay home and not come on this trip. But I had just as many reasons to come on this trip. I knew it was an opportunity for me to move forward in my business, to grow deeper connections with women in my industry, to develop my skills as a coach and a businesswoman. And that to me was just as important as the connection I have with my children, with you know, the role that I hold dear as being a good mother, of being a spouse, um, all those things. But I wasn't willing to let all those rational reasons be the excuse that let me sit on the sidelines and stay at home when I could have really stepped up and enjoyed this beautiful experience of bringing myself to Paris. The other thing I want you to know is that when you do choose to make yourself a priority, and not just a priority, but really show up for your dreams and your desires, as I have had to in coming on this trip, is that it doesn't just benefit me. It's not a purely selfish act. That in whatever your desires are, it can almost, it really can be a double or triple blessing. And what I mean by that is in me coming on this trip, yes, I left my children at home with their loving, supportive father. He's got this. I know he is. But it's going to be a blessing for all of us. He's going to get the opportunity to really deepen his connection with his children and be a loving, supportive spouse. I've supported his career for these many years as he's developed and his career has, has called on him to travel many times. It's also a blessing to my children, though I'm not going to be there for those first few, you know, green days of, of, grade, um, of grade school or this year's school, my children get the opportunity to develop those life lessons of self-reliance and independence that I would be shielding them from if I were at home this week. And it's a triple blessing because I'm developing my skills as a businesswoman, developing my skills as a masterful coach, which will bless and serve my current and future clients. So yes, although it's been logistically, financially, and at moments emotionally challenging to come on this trip this week, it is also a triple blessing for the reasons that I just mentioned. So when you're thinking about up-leveling your life, maybe you're thinking of finally building your business, changing your career, creating more freedom and independence in your life, whatever it is, ladies, don't just think about your excuses and all of the rational reasons why you can't or shouldn't maybe you know, go to the next level, but think about how many people will be blessed by you putting yourself in the game of putting down the excuses and really stepping up to the next version of you, the better version of who you are. You know, it's easy to focus on everyone else's needs as a woman. I could very well have put my children's needs first, my husband's need to have my support there for him this week, to have not rescheduled client appointments this week. It, it could have been easy for me to put my client's needs um, before my own this week. But I made the decision that this was important for me. And that's really what I want each of you, wherever you're at in your career or your business or your relationships, to really think about. Think about giving yourself permission, however challenging it may be in the short term, to put yourself in the game, to make yourself a priority, and to really go for it in your life. And when you do, realize that it is a blessing, not only for you, but for all of those people who love you and who ultimately you are destined to serve in terms of family, friends, and future clients. So with that, I bid you adieu from the lobby of my hotel in fabulous Paris. I'm about to go upstairs, kick back, and have a beautiful evening of rest and relaxation before I get back at it to masterminding and up-leveling myself tomorrow again at our conference this week in Paris. So love you ladies. Know that I am always thinking about you and I am keeping it real from here in Paris. So have a great night. We'll talk to you again soon.